Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be keeping you up to date with everything we've got in Fortnite relating to the brand new secret map changes which we've got in the game. So there are a bunch of new little changes coming into the game, which are only minor, but they're pretty noticeable if you follow the storyline and just generally you have logged into Fortnite today. The first one being the countdown for the event. So as I am recording this video right now, it's six days and 22 hours. Now, what's really funny about this timer, it's actually five minutes over the time of the official event. So if you're in the UK like myself, the time for the event is actually going to be seven in the evening. And then obviously, if you're based in the ET, Eastern time zone, you can translate it from here. And that will be three o'clock in the afternoon for you guys over in the ET time zone. So feel free to translate it how you want, but there are the times for you guys. Anyway, there you have it. I'm sure Fortnite will tweet something out about this as you need. And also you can probably just watch the counter as well. If you say you're an hour early, you'll see on the timer an hour early. It's kind of interesting to see that it will start five minutes after. Usually that means it'll start 15 minutes after, so add another 10 onto it, and then the event will take place, just so everybody can get in. It's usually what they do with these events. Also, if you head over to Midas's room, you can see they have officially put the time in there as well. Don't forget, guys, if you aren't subscribed, though, roughly 80% of you guys watching the video right now aren't already subscribed to the channel, so do consider smashing that subscribe. And also, guys, don't forget to smash a like in the next five seconds. Let's try and get a like goal of 6,000 likes on today's video. Thank you, everybody, doing that. It only takes one second. All right, so with that, the way we also have some map changes coming in from fortnite's point of view so let's pop on in game and show you guys exactly what we have so over at the agency we have a bunch of brand new map changes over here and that actually is the bubble sections here now the bubbles are officially coming out of the agency's kind of i guess if you want to call them plugs or holes or vents i don't know what you want to call them but you know the kind of i guess they're kind of i'm gonna call them vents for now but you can see these kind of vents here in the water the gold vent has got these kind of bubbles coming out of it and you got this kind of huge lid on top of it like a i guess it's basically a plug it definitely looks like it's going to lift up and now the inside is also changed to a blue like texture very cool there's also some sort of reflection in the top of it which is giving it some sort of kind of like hole effect as well so Definitely could be something to do with the event right there, but these are 100% to do with the Doomsday device. This is just one of many. Every single one has had the same effect added to it. You can see the bubbles are coming out of here. This almost hints to us that the Doomsday device itself is almost fully powered up. And as we see in the lobby, we are on stage two right now. I'll jump to that quickly. You can see a little preview of that. Okay, guys, as I was editing this video, the Doomsday device actually hit its third stage live on my screen when i was editing it so i was like whoa what is going on here and there it was so you can see a little bit of a preview of that right now for you guys we may even see them open in game like a live mini event which could take place during this week sometime i think that'd be really cool if we saw that kind of definitely could be possible because i've actually been seeing as i've been playing fortnite recently i've actually been seeing a few point of interests not rendering in properly so that again is generally going to give us a, a huge huge signal for us to kind of think maybe all these locations that we've been looking at that aren't having like are having a little bit of a render issues they're going to turn to gold or get flooded by water and we'll get into a little theory i've got for you guys right now but before we do that i just want to put in this little map change video the easter egg which all of you guys have been mentioning to me and this could be the end of them this could be the official end of the snowman versus why am i saying snowman the gnomes versus teddy bears maybe the snowman will get introduced into it and that easter egg is just over in the woods over here let me fly to it so you guys can see it here we have it and you can see these guys here is officially going to be the end for them and obviously they're writing some plans on their notes i can't exactly make out what their notes are but this could be their end you know when this happens this event maybe these are going to go Anyway, here is a little Fortnite preview of what the device looks like from the above point of view. I think it's quite a nice little touch and definitely could have some sort of relationship to the actual plugs over at the agency with this kind of pulsing effect. Maybe it could open them up. Also, there's rumors that the statue in the agency, which you can see a little picture of here, is going to be like the statue we saw in season nine. This potentially could be where the Doomsday device becomes placed, I guess, maybe. Possibly, anyway, if it actually comes out of the ground or if Midas somehow spawns it in here. I don't know. I think maybe this could go down and the Doomsday device could go up. 
The reasoning is for that as well. If we pop back into game and head over to the agency, you can see we actually have nothing underneath this statue. Like there's no build underneath here. I can't go underneath. Whereas in some sections of the agency, you can go underground. For example, you've got your underground section here and there's nothing through this wall here, but there is something through here. So this is kind of like huge blank section here and it's perfect. Look, there's like a huge blank room underneath this giant floor here. So definitely something that could be hidden underneath that statue or just generally underneath this floor. So I'm hoping maybe they might do something at the agency. Who knows? I've got another Fortnite theory coming in from Mr. Spaceboy42 for you guys. He's actually come up with a theory which really relates to my theories. But I thought he put it in quite a nice little context for you guys. And it leads into something else I want to show you guys in a second. So he says, I have an event theory. If you guys have got any theories as well, feel free to tweet me and message me in my Discord as well. Doomsday device will charge to max. Doomsday device will shoot beams into the sky. Midas will accidentally touch the device. This is where something that I've been saying for a while. And the device will turn into gold. Then the device will mount function and then the doomsday device will explode this explosion will turn the entire map into gold that, again is one of my big theories i've had for a long time you know breaking this season down just generally it's just all gold themed isn't it he goes to support this further by saying the clouds around the agency will become a hurricane the hurricane will make a lot of rain rain will cause a massive flood the entire map will flood if you do some research the king midas can only revert turning stuff gold by using water he wasn't a god, I think he's a king actually, just to make sure on that one. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I called him a god in the past and people didn't really like me saying that. So I'm pretty sure he is a king. Then he goes over to say, every place that has insurance will be fine from the flood, but everywhere without insurance will be destroyed. The water will lower back down and the map will be back to normal. No gold. But everywhere without insurance is gone for good. So this could work quite nicely. What he's saying here is the entire map would get turned to gold. And during the event, we'd see water start to rain down. Or even over the last few days of the season, the water would start to rain away the, or wash away the gold. But we'd start to see point of interest begin to slowly flood. Now, I don't think this would all happen during the event. I think maybe the end of the event would be the Doomsday device getting destroyed. And much bigger clouds being created over the agency here's a little preview of the clouds we currently have you know they're really focused around that agency point of interest and definitely some geography stuff going on maybe to do with the heat from the doomsday device or even the bubbles maybe that's why the water is bubbling because the heat is coming out at extreme temperatures i don't know 100 percent but maybe it is something to do with geography and I just don't know enough about clouds personally. But I'm sure the Doomsday device will definitely tell if that is the case. Now the gold area of it really does kind of jump back to the classic agency theme and the classic theme for this season. I do think there will be some sort of gold element in this season's event. If it's going to be the entire map turning to gold or even if it's just going to be the Doomsday device itself turning to gold. I don't know what it could be, but I definitely think there will be a reference to that in this event. Also, guys, another piece of news coming in right now from Donald Mustard. He has actually officially changed his location on his Twitter to the agency. This is definitely starting to get bigger and bigger, and we're definitely going to see a lot of stuff over the next few days happen around this agency. Well, I'm hoping we do anyway. I've got a feeling we will, because I feel like we're going to get a lot of interesting kind of concepts and things build up to this. But it's nice to see that Donald himself is starting to change his locations once again. And now it's all going down at the agency. I can't wait to see how this is going to end up and how it's all going to play out. I think it's interesting to see that this season is all themed around the spy theme and that gold Midas kind of king old Greek. Is it Greek or is it, I can't, is it Greek or Roman? I'm not too sure. It may not even be either. But the old mythology of Midas himself might even be Egyptian. You guys let me know in the comments. I don't even know where the story back background is from, but I do know it. I just can't remember. <laughs> but yes, with that being said, that is everything for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really excited for the event. I will be streaming it on the channel. Much love and respect. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Smash that like, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you guys in future content. And also, go and check out yesterday's video where I showed a demonstration or a kind of early preview of a very rough demo of my prediction of the doomsday device event it's like a mini event but very run down nothing like the actual version of what it's going to be like but it's still cool to see someone create something creative which potentially could be what the event does go and check it out guys